Welcome back to the Winter Major Expert Division opening round, hole number four. Here we're going to be playing a sniper rough bump. We're using a wind five uh, ball. You can use anything P0 through P3 here. Um, with that being said, I only recommend that you use P0, 1, or 2 uh, just to ensure that if you catch some kind of crazy tailwind angle that you don't pull into men club. You shouldn't, but it would, uh, it would really suck if, you know, you got to play your shot and you adjust and you hit men so for safety's sake p0 1 or 2 any wind 5 ball 0 1 or 2 should work the adjustment for the shot is p2 numbers 0% elevation men so we're playing p2 men no elevation always use sniper 10 numbers in your app we're using four top spin only and i always pass up the four line and then come back to it so that I always have the same amount of top spin here. With your spin added, what you want is the tip of the ball guide to be just touching or just a hair short of the line, one line below the hole, like so, right? Um, you don't want to be any further away from it than that and you don't want to be any closer to it than this line here right so you have about a quarter of a square to work with there anything in that you know top quarter of the square should be good um I have not needed any wind angle tweaks on this shot. I've seen multiple different wind angles and wind strengths. The only tweak that I have needed for this shot is for high wind. And in high winds, 6.1 or higher, you need to add 0.1 to your adjustment, right? So we're getting a little bit more wind push with that higher wind. And if you're not careful and you don't add the point one for the high wind, you could end up missing this to the right. Um, beyond that, it's been very consistent. Just make sure there's a couple of things here. Pull angle is very important, but beyond that, uh, you know, how much you actually pull your adjustment makes a difference as well. So what I mean by that is, say I have a 4.3 a adjustment. 4.3 to me may look like 4.2 to you, right? And so, you know, compared to a lot of other people I kind of pull a little bit heavy so you may need to you know keep that in consideration when you're playing this shot so if you're constantly missing it to the right you can try uh, adding point one to your adjustment or maybe play it P3 numbers plus zero. That might work better for you and how you adjust the numbers. But beyond that, test it a couple of times. Once you get your pull angle squared away and you know determine whether or not you need to, uh, whether you pull heavier or lighter than I do, once you get it there, you should be good to go. You should be able to drop this one pretty consistently even though there are massive wind angle changes here it hasn't made a difference 
for me. So I wish you all the best of luck. I hope you get the drop. You want to pull this one super straight. And if anything, I would favor us 1201 flicker over an 1159 flicker. Make sure you're not pulling any 1159. Uh, it will cause you to come in hot. And it also can cause you to miss left. So good luck. We'll catch you on the next one.